Hey guys, welcome back to Mercedes Lounge. This right here is a 2021 Mercedes E350 formatic and this is a new E-Class redesigned facelift. In this video, I'm going to show you guys all the exterior features of this E350. Take a look at the interior and also listen to the sound from the engine. And the engine, 2 liter inline 4. So 255 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque. You might think that's not a lot of power, but they have tuned the engine very well. Now stick around to the end of the video, I'll drive this car and we'll see how it performs. Starting here with the rear look, you can see this is a redesigned facelift. You have these elegant LED rear taillights. Now this is a new design language from Mercedes-Benz. I've had a ton of comments about the design back here, but I think in person these LED lights look very, very elegant and very specific. They wrap around from this side to the trunk itself on the other side. You have a horizontal chrome element on the left hand side you have e350 on the right you have formatic red diffuser very simple finished with these chrome tail pipes and then you have a number of sensors on the rear here because this car has a parktronic system let's take a look at the trunk space you have a decent sized trunk you can have two medium sized suitcases in the back and you have some Mercedes-Benz floor mats right here. The E-Class does have the electronic trunk close. And I think it looks very elegant. Side perspective, you have these newly designed rims. These are AMG Performance rims and they have this cap around the center. I don't know what you guys think about that design. The rear tires, 255 40 R19. These are 19 inch rims size of the front tires is 25540 r19 these are 19 inch rims and uh, let, me, let me know what you guys think about this design you have this cap which sits on the inside of the rim you have the silver brake calipers these are amg high performance rims and you have pirelli all season tires You have chrome door handles, then you have a horizontal line along the car. This E350 has the AMG Night package because it has the AMG line exterior. Now you may ask yourself, what is the AMG line exterior package? It gives you a more prominent, more masculine look with more pronounced outer air intakes at the front, finishing high gloss black. The front splitter is even larger with a massive air intake down here. On either side, you have those horizontal black fins, which also offer you aerodynamic features as well as high gloss black elements around them. This car has the LED light package, which offers you these multi-beam LED lights. They have a single eyebrow at the top. And then you can notice one thing, you have these vertical LED bars on the inside and this is a new design very good quality headlamp it does have the adaptive high beam assist another cool feature you have those amg power domes which gives it a very masculine look very aggressive the mercedes star sits on the hood flash on it and then one thing lets you know this has the amg line exterior you have the diamond block grille with a single bar across the iconic star the mercedes star gives it a very elegant look sensors at the front as well you also have a number of sensors back here on the side and i think this design looks very refreshing if i step up close you can see the grill itself is almost inverted in this design and it has the high gloss black element on the perimeter around it very very stylish and then the mg power domes on the front here mg line exterior high gloss black night package gives you those black side mirror surroundings and a very elegant look from this perspective all right let's jump on the interior and take a look at the rear seating the insert this is the natural ash grain wood which is a wood panel you have the high-end Burmester speaker system 
on the door. You also have the 64 color ambient light system which flows throughout. You have the macchiato beige on the interior with black MB text, black seat belts, and these seats are very comfortable. You can have three adults in the back, sit very comfortably. The cup holders stick out from your center armrest. All very good quality at the center. Headrests are also very comfortable. Enough padding and cushioning for your head. And these also stick out. There is a lever on the other side you can press and the seat headrest goes up. All in all, very good quality material on the interior. This is your macchiato beige. You have your perforated seats right here on the leather. All very good quality, very soft. You have some storage behind each seat and your climate control systems at the center right here. Let's take a look at the front. Also have the Mercedes Star illumination in HD quality and that looks very very stylish passenger side door you have memory seating one two three and heated seats the burmester speaker system and the natural ash green wood on that panel the interior look you have the natural ash green wood on the upper dash front perspective i think the video camera doesn't do it justice this car is very elegant the finishes the styling is absolutely top notch on the driver's side door you have memory seating one two three you also have heated seats and you can notice the natural ash green wood Underneath you have the 64 color ambient light system, you have a Burmester speaker system and also the macchiato beige leather on the door itself. Very, very elegant. On the upper dash, you have that natural ash green wood which has the same grain as the center console as well finished in that natural ash green wood. The E-Class has the MBUX system and the displays 12.3 inches on either side, sits very flush they do have a certain depth to it you can see right here because of this upper dash which sticks out in this fashion climate control systems you have four circular air vents and you have one on either side the quality of the material is very very exclusive and you have this aluminium piece which separates the upper dash all this is pure leather let me turn on the car so you have the lights on you have a series of buttons down here for your telephone navigation radio as well as your favorites and your hazard systems are right here climate control system right above it these piano keys very good quality made of aluminium with the center menu button right here if you add the temperature if you add the temperature you have the deep reds from your 64 color ambient lighting system if you lower the temperature, it turns to purple. As you notice, you have 64 color ambient light system going on the upper dash. You have a glove compartment, deep enough, more than enough storage for your reading glasses or some books and other material. Down here you have NFC charging and the depth. You can have a Note 20 Ultra phone sit all the way back here nfc charging cup holders and all very good quality your center console has this trackpad right here which provides you with haptic feedback as you get from a regular smartphone you have a series of buttons on the other side your volume control dynamic select options and your parking systems on the other side all very high quality material love this natural ash grain wood which has the same grain even on the center lid for your cup holders the grain is cut from the same wood panel so very high quality material and i just love how it feels very responsive as well with that haptic feedback touch on the driver's perspective you have this new design mercedes steering wheel finished in black piano lacquer trim you have touch pads or touch controls on either side the ones on the right for your center display right here the ones on the left for your digital instrument cluster this is your all in dash full digital display screens 12.3 inches on either side and if you want to add your volume you just swipe up to lower your volume you just swipe down you have this aluminium piece which flows on the inside right here on this quadrant gives it a very very elegant look 
and I just love the design. Driving this, it feels very, very comfortable and uh, it's something to behold. This E350 has the MBUX assistant. If you point on the icon, it sort of lights up a little bit. I don't know if you can notice that to show you that you have engaged the menu system, but all this is fully touch screen. You have your phone menu, navigation, radio, media, comfort, info, apps, and settings. Let's go ahead and start with settings. Let's go into the assistance menu. You have your parking and camera, active brake assist, attention assist, blind sport assist, traffic light information. So a few options for your driver packages. On your vehicle, you have your dynamic select options. And uh, at the very bottom, you have eco, comfort, sport, and sport plus. Let's go back into your settings. You have your light systems, which offers you the ambient light system for your colors. Let's go ahead and select the red color right here. So you have multicolor system. And uh, the other cool feature, you have seat comfort, which offers you seat kinetics. So for your driver or passenger, so if you set for the passenger and you engage the play, what happens is, as the car turns around the corners, the seat adjusts with the direction of the car. So if you lean forward, the seat leans forward. If you lean to the side, the seat also cushions you on the side, gives you maximum support. You also have seat heating balance with this menu, which allows you to either increase the temperature at the base or the center or towards the top. Cool feature, and that's your ambient lighting. Let's go back. You have your apps. You have Mercedes Me, smartphone, and your browser. Those are your three apps that you have. On your info, this is where you have your vehicle metrics. You have your vehicle data, which means how strong you're accelerating, how much pressure you're applying on the brakes. You can see those in percentages. You also have engine which means you can look at your performance, engine torque, battery voltage, air pressure metrics, consumption, fuel consumption. You can see how you're doing over time and your vehicle's manual system. Let's go back, swipe right. Your comfort system is just your lighting system as well as your seat comfort systems. As an added package, you can actually get the massage feature or the comfort package on your E-Class if you prefer. You have your media, radio. Let's go into radio and take a look. You have Sirius XM SATA radio, FM and AM, and very responsive. You can just browse through your different channels and set favorites and things like that. On the Burmester speaker system, let's go into that. You have your equalizer, balance and fader, sound focus, which means all you need to do is just touch the front and all the sound goes to the front of the car. You touch the two rear, rear passenger seats and the sound focus is on the back seats. Or you can reset and press all seats, which means you'll get a more 360 surround sound coming from your Burmester speaker system. You have sound profiles right here, which means you can select pure sound or full surround sound system. Let's go down. You have your volume controls. You can have automatic adjustment as well. On your equalizer, you have your bass, mid, and your treble. Very good quality, many options. Very easy and very simple to see, uh, this is one of the best systems you can have for your infotainment. Let's go back to your menu options. Uh, I think I wanna go into navigation. The nav system is very responsive. You have 3D maps. If you swipe up, go into advanced, map orientation. You can swipe down and select 3D. 
You also have to the North app and to the heading up or auto zoom. Let's get out of that. You have other map elements, points of interest and so on and so forth. And you have route guidance if you prefer to have that. On your telephone menu, you can connect up to two devices, phone one and two. You can view your devices, select and remove devices and import contacts as well. If you swipe up on the MBOX system, you have your themes. So you have a trip, experience, efficiency, lounge, standard. So what themes are, it means you can adjust the look and feel of your MBOX system by the touch of a button. If you select a trip theme, it presents you with metrics and data related to your trip. So you have your maps, you have your engine pressures, so you have your maps, you have your engine metrics, and so on and so forth. Fuel consumption, let's go back, swipe up. If you select the experience theme, shows you a more AMG focused look as you drive, which means your vehicle metrics, engine consumption, and so on and so forth. Let's go back to home, swipe up. Select the lounge theme, it's more of an entertainment focused theme. Very simple, elegant, and you have the driver's side displays change as well and you have these circular dials on it the other cool feature you have the touch controls on either side of your steering wheel you can have a ribbon appear on the driver's side then you can swipe left or right and change your options so you can have the same mbux system features appear on your driver's side so you have designs and displays which allows you to change the look and feel of your displays by the touch of a button if you go back designs and displays let's go to sport all your options change at the touch of a button then you can actually right here you have radio buttons i don't know if you can see that you can swipe through the screens and you get a different screen for every of those radio buttons. So this is your eco display constant. You have your maps, G forces, as well as your driver assistance packages for distance and uh, things like that. Overall, very good quality, a ton of data. Again, this is a tech fest on wheels on the new E-Class, the E350. Let's go back. So that's part of the MBUX system on this E350. On the roof here, you have a series of accessories. So you have your SOS, Mercedes Me. Your reading lights will be up here. You can turn them on and off. And your sunroof button is also up here. Let's close it up. Sun visors, also very good quality. Nothing has changed. You have your card holder right here and a mirror at the top. Hey guys, welcome back to Mercedes Lounge. This right here is a 2021 Mercedes E350 4Matic. This is a redesigned facelift of the new E-Class and it looks gorgeous. Finished in wide exterior, 255 horsepower with 273 pound feet of torque let me just give you guys a brief walk around it's got some new design rims right here these are basically for your aerodynamic features you have this cap on the interior of the rim these are mg black rims and the size of the rear tires is 245 40 r19 going to the front it has the AMG line exterior package which offers you AMG night package with the black side mirrors and the black night gloss around the side mirrors it's got the multi-beam LED lights and the diamond block grill at the front with a single bar let's check it out
good. Wow. Now most people are not gonna like the wood trim, but I'll use it way back. Oh, I lowered it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I was thinking my position for the camera, the lower you are, it might be yeah. better, but it's it's running. Oh, it's running? Let's okay. start again. I love this steering wheel, so symmetrical. It's got some... okay on the left side of the steering wheel to clear the low fuel level message. Yeah. There you go. Wow, these truck pads, the touch. This is a different feel for sure. And it's an E class, no need for revving the car or just being too rough on it. See if I can use these. So it's the top square now, right? The the little teeny indent. The top is the trackpad now. Let's see. I guess I can get. Can I get navigation on the whole screen? Not on this one. Oh. I love the ribbon. And then you just swipe. Do you swipe? Top top square the top oh. indent. so it's only on the right hand side no 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 it's on the left so you just look further up oh there you go that's good let's see what's in the oh it's already on sport mode which is a mm -hmm. i like yeah, that the same layout as it's, it's been pre previously It's a very clean look. And it's fully MBUX. Drives very well actually. But for a nine speed transmission, I didn't expect that. Yeah, it's just it seems like the E350 you get in it just wants to drive quite like a luxury, efficient vehicle. Yeah, if this was a GT63 yes, I'm sure you'll be throwing it around. Well, yeah, I mean, because it wants to go. This wants to to be driven calmly, and it it even feels more rewarding to drive it that way, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it performs better that way. It invites you to drive it more efficiently, more comfortably. And yeah, and the engine, 2 liter inline 4. Mm -hmm. So, 255 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque. You might think that's not a lot of power, but they have tuned the engine very well and numbers don't mean anything you can have an 800 horsepower car mm -hmm. that's slower than a 600 horsepower car for a lot of factors one big thing is the transmission and mercedes transmissions are very efficient so you're not losing a lot of that power to the the ground yeah so a uh, nice combination of efficiency and power uh, weight reduction because of the four cylinder not a, a heavier six cylinder there's a lot that goes behind it the german engineers really spend the mm -hmm. time and, and visibility is really good mm -hmm. it feels very spacious on the on the front so i guess the nine speed does a good job of uh engine outfit as well mercedes says that nine nine gears is the optimal gear ratio for maximum performance and efficiency in all scenarios is, is their take on it yeah because you know there's some cars out there that have 10 or 11 gears now and you know anything's possible but uh -huh. decided that nine gear ratio is the best for all applications i, I really like the transmission Let's see go back here yeah this is an elegant car you're not gonna do a whole lot of messing around with i think in terms of quality see how that moves but so you just point it so let's set some seat kinetics i gotta get back there yeah let me just make a u-turn right here actually right there uh,
this the bubble lets you know when you're close to the curb. Oh, that's neat. Sunroof is pretty, pretty standard, nothing to see. It's got an Eco Start stop, obviously. Mm -hmm. It seems like they've refined it, it's a lot more <coughs> smooth, it's not quite as. The first pronounced. time, yeah, the first time I experienced the start stop, it was kind of unnerving because mm -hmm. I, I thought something was breaking the car, mm -hmm. but now it's actually very soft. The, the E450 with the 48 volt mm -hmm. system, you don't even notice it at all. It is so buttery smooth. Yeah. So all around, very soft, very elegant. Gear shifts. I think it's, it's one of the favorite features on this car. The transmission, is very solid. Right. You cannot get this in carbon fiber, can you? on the E350. <laughs> you can get metal weave, which is a close second. I really like, I'm starting to really like metal weave because it's uh, a Mercedes exclusive uh -huh. trim. No one else does, quite does it. But uh, yeah, same should. principle, right? Just thin metal strands instead of carbon fiber but in a woven pattern. I really like it. And that's pretty much it. That's a look at the new E350 2021 facelift. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to Mercedes Lounge. I create weekly Mercedes Benz as well as Mercedes AMG videos. Make sure you hit subscribe, leave a comment and uh, tell me what you think about this brand new Mercedes Benz E-Class facelift. Until then, stay positive but test negative. Peace.